vehicles. Today we're coming at you with a tool haul. And as you know, things are getting a little bit colder, especially over here up north in the northeast. So I think uh, the garage sales are kind of winding down for the season. And I think they'll be getting kind of fewer and far in between. So I think from now on, uh, two hauls will be getting more or less infrequent. But I'll still try to see, you know, whatever I get, I'll pass it along to you guys uh, so you can check it out. Okay, uh, this one is mostly, I think, retail and maybe a few or yeah maybe just a few or a couple were garage sales so uh let's jump into it let's jump into it with retail first i found this square i think i paid two dollars for it this is a stanley there's here you go stanley number one two two made in usa i don't usually pick these up uh I just picked it up because it looked to be in pretty good condition and it was USA and so I said for two dollars, you know. Seems pretty good. Missing the scribe if it ever came with one. But I think it probably is missing the scribe. Bubble still works, uh seems okay. And here's another square. I found, I think this one was $2 also. This is a, yeah, it says $1.99. This is a number 804 General, General Hardware Manufacturer Co. New York, uh, USA. This one, I don't know. Don't really see many like this. I know you guys who are more into squares and stuff probably no more than me but i thought that was kind of a different one and i found a stapler i kind of uh collect staplers also uh, especially like u.s made older staplers and this one kind of caught my eye it was i think two dollars also yeah 199 uh this one is echo stapler and chicago made in usa and this one's a little bit different than than uh you see the swing lines they mainly open you just pry them open here this one you have to push in the back and it opens and this section slides out and you can load your staples that way and then push it in so i thought that was kind of neat the way they that design is a bit different than usual. Okay. Uh, here is a garage sale. Let me move this a little bit back. Uh, so you get to see better. And this thing is pretty good. I think I paid for everything in this bag. I think I paid like five bucks. And here is an SK screwdriver let's see uh, 73002 I think is what it says USA and I see a lot of spinners SK spinners but I don't come across a lot of SK screwdrivers and this is a Phillips it looks to be okay looks decent tip uh, yeah I don't see many SK screwdrivers and also is this diamond six inch adjustable and this one it says no extensions <laughs> and no hammering that's pretty funny and they have the direction uh, direction uh arrow there to show you how to use it but it, i just think it's really funny how they say no no extensions no hammering i guess they know that <coughs> maybe most of these come back under warranty because someone was hammering on it 
or using an extension. And here's a Globe Master uh, slip joint. It says 4110. Uh, this is Japan. Japan. And here is a Craftsman. Uh, another one of those Craftsmans that have that really bad uh, etching that. Psst, if you were to put a little brush, wire brush, it would probably come all off. So, you gotta be careful with these, they're pretty bad. And this one is like the slip joint that I'm always finding nowadays. But this is the needle nose, Is I think it has the letters WF, and over here has K. In USA it says 51... No, 45102 model. And some people were telling me that these could be uh, SK made. I'm not sure. Uh, the WF, didn't that stand for uh, something Forge also? But yeah, not too bad. Uh, <clears throat> and here. I'm always liking these older wrenches and this one is a Williams and Williams is like one of my favorite brands I have to say if I had to choose a brand it would probably be Williams as one of my favorite tool makers and this one is not your usual um, wrench you see how they have squared bottoms here and it's really thick and what I found out is that these were, I think, laves for laves to uh, to open and close laves or something. I'm not sure. I didn't see how it worked, but I think this is a wrench for like if you have a lathe. So <clears throat> kind of a little bit different there. And here we have a set of Craftsman. Looks like ignition uh, wrenches. All of them look kind of like that cheapy ignition wrench style, even though it's Craftsman, except for this one. This one, I think, was just added. This looks like a regular V wrench, the 44699 quarter inch. But the rest look like those little, like those cheapy ones, those ignition style ones. Not sure if they're U.S., but uh, probably, probably U.S. <clears throat> and one of the, the things I was kind of most happy about finding was this Williams USA number six uh, slip joint pliers. Isn't that cool? Look at the look at the pattern of the the handle there. You know me and Williams, so happy to find that in the bunch. <coughs> and what else? Nothing really spectacular. The rest is just a 7mm Craftsman. Looks like VA or two Vs, uh, one up, one down. And a 8mm. Same thing. V is going, one V going up, one V going down. USA. Okay, so I got all that for five bucks. Pretty happy with that. Uh, this was retail. Oh, I think I paid. Let me see how much I paid for this. Really four dollars for this bag, and some of the stuff is really cheap. Uh, here is mystery AEG wrench never heard of them couldn't find much on them so any info on AEG would be appreciated because the letters are pretty big and it's pretty deep so they can you know they went through the trouble of doing that must be something <clears throat> 
and two kind of pretty cheap I'm guessing uh, five thirty seconds T handles, hex T handles. Mm, no brands on them. Cheap. And found this Williams Super Wrench Forge USA W in the diamond alloy steel. This is the 7725B half inch and 916. That was in the bag. <clears throat> and kind of these no name, no fraction saying uh, hex wrenches. There's another one. And here is an electrolyte 3 8 7 16 made. True fit five five zero zero one USA. This is old electrolyte. Uh, kind of looks pretty rough. Doesn't look like it was, you know, well well finished or anything. I think this was kind of a a bargain brand back then, back in the day. Here's a crazy hex key or something, or skate key. And what else? Here is an SK Wayne, 3 eighths and 7 sixteenths. Look at the sparkle, wow. And probably one of my favorite ones is this little <laughs> Guess what it is? A super wrench Williams. Small five sixteenths on this side, three eighths on this side. But it had the raised panels on the side here. Check that out. This was a style of wrench that they had, I think during the fifties. They had the sides were raised and where they put the leathers was kinda sunken. Pretty cool. Okay, what else? I went to this one place. This guy had a lot of quality stuff at a garage sale. What did I pick up? I picked up... What else? I picked up these. He had... A, this guy had like... I'm not joking. He had like 40 or 50 Kinepex pliers. Different ones. Uh, nothing too cheap. Everything was kind of... Um, it was bargain price, yeah. But uh, he wasn't giving it away. So I picked up this Kinepex. Let's see what it is. This is the 74250 super vanadium side cutters this is the long one this is the 250 millimeter one so it's about let me <laughs> let me get the ruler out this one measures 10 inches so it's kind of the long one and i think this one sells on amazon for like 50 or 60 dollars and I bought it for like 15, 15 bucks. And here's a Knipex Cobra, the smaller one. This one's like the seven inch one. This one was, this one was 10 bucks. And uh, I got some ratchets. I think I paid uh, five bucks for this SK quarter inch ratchet five, four zero nine seven zero. And here's a Craftsman 
4812. This is kind of a rare craftsman. Uh, if you look on eBay, people want a lot for these. Uh, they're kind of the the professional, kind of all all shiny. Uh, Danaher, from the Danaher uh, period. The same as uh, those other ones, uh, the ones you see all the time. Uh, what do they call it? A pear head? Or teardrop ratchets? Uh, but these were... I guess the premium of those these were uh you can see it's all shiny all over it has the round grip and I had the guy had two of them so I picked up two of them I think I paid I don't know 10 bucks each so these are the quarter inches I usually don't pick up doubles but I figured something this rare, I'll pick up doubles for the if the price is right. And I think for two bucks, this old crescent number, shiny G two six U.S. crescent, pretty good shape. And. This other crescent uh, adjustable, 8 inch. This one's, uh, I don't know, this one seems thicker here, like, like the beam here. Seems thick, and then it kind of goes in deep in the middle here. See how the ledge here is so, so high? Don't know if this is kind of a special one, or this was what they were doing for a while. But... This one you can't take out, so I'm thinking this is more recent. Since this one didn't come with a screw, it came with one of those, just uh, a pin where they put in there. But they did make it extra kind of beefy here on the handle. See how it, it goes all the way down, kind of deep. Hmm, interesting, but... I went to one garage sale. All I picked up was this. This is a what do you call it? A Klein. Klein for some reason. They also have these really light kind of. It's engraving, but it's really light, and it wears out pretty good. You can hardly make out some of it there. It says Klein Tool. Maybe you can see a little bit of the tool there. The two O's. And I forgot which model this is, but it has uh, kind of the crimpers here on the bottom. And it has the date code there, Y2. And looks kind of well worn. Uh, some breaks in the blade there, and a chip there. Still, most of it looks pretty good. Paid. It's tight. This is tight also. It's not. It's not wobbly. Pay the dollar for that. Oh, what else? This I got this retail. Uh, some kind of interesting screwdrivers. This one I'm not sure. Uh, it says Androck. I think that's an A and Androx screwdriver. You guys know more than me. Let me know. Uh, wood handle seems okay. Uh, a Sears Phillips two made USA. Not much to see here. Um, pretty good shape. Here's a no name, even though it seems pretty good, seems okay quality, but no name that I can see. Uh, here's one of those <laughs> 50 cent testers. Uh, I wouldn't stake my life on that. And a really bad, uh, cheap Hong Kong screwdriver. And 
another screwdriver. This one is a Stanley. Stanley number. What is that? I can't make out the number. It says Horwood. Stanley Herwood. Made in USA, I can't make out the number. It's probably 20, I don't know. But an old Stanley. Looks like it's seen better days, but probably can be fixed up. And this no name, cheap uh, 13 millimeter wrench. And another very cheap Hong Kong screwdriver. <clears throat> and you're probably thinking, why did you buy that? And I think I bought it just for this. <laughs> Except for maybe the screwdrivers that were a little kind of offbeat. I bought it for this, uh, I think this is a Stanley H1211 uh, made in USA punch or nail set. And. Okay, I didn't have much to buy that day, <laughs> so I bought this. I think it was, uh, I think I paid two fifty for all that, for those screwdrivers. And I saw this also. I paid two dollars for that, obviously, and this is a punch. Really good shape, really nice sergeant punch. Doesn't look like it was used much. Uh, Sergeant and Co. New Haven, Connecticut, made in USA. It's really smooth, really nice. Maybe you can see some paper. I, I, <laughs> I punched some holes in paper to see if it was working. Yeah, it was working. <clears throat> and I think the. Some of the last of it was, this was retail. I found this crescent, 10 inch. This one has a screw in it and I did take it apart. Crestloy, Crestloy. There's the capacity, it has millimeters also. So this is probably a later on crescent. Can you see the difference between this one and the other one? find that one okay <clears throat> you see how deep that ledge is and here how shallow it is what they were doing there yeah that's what I'm talking about what I'm saying it's it's so deep uh, that cut out so yeah here's like a black uh, coated crescent I think I paid three bucks for that retail uh, and they call these I forgot uh, it's not a it's not a what do you call it uh, a breaker bar there's something, I forgot the name of this. You guys, I'm sure you guys know what this is. Uh, is it Craftsman? 3 eighths uh, B series. Pretty decent shape. Uh, and a few little tools. Uh, I found these Heiko. Germany and there were BMW style wrenches. This one's 12 and 13. This one's 12 and 13 also, except that this one says West Germany. And this one's probably from later on. It just says Germany. Same model number. So that was cool. Some BMW style wrenches. Here's another one. This one is eight millimeter and 10 on this side. 
Heiko, uh, Germany, BMW. And of course, a Williams, three eighths. Just plain Williams, doesn't have the stylized writing. Not sure when this was made. Because I know uh, Snap-on bought Williams. Could it be Snap-on? I doubt it. Uh, and the small vice grip. I like small vice grips. I like small tools in general. So I think I got a couple of these, but whenever I see them for cheap, I'll pick them up. That. And this is probably the most interesting thing I found of that of that little pile is this punch. And this is a craftsman number four zero five four two USA punch. And this punch is you can adjust it. It says light. If you want a lighter hit, you turn the wheel this way. If you want a heavy hit, you turn it the wheel that way. Another interesting feature is that the tip, the tip is removable on these, which I think is a pretty awesome feature because I don't know how many of those more cheapy ones that you find at Harbor Freight that I've had to reprofile the tips because they get all mangled after a while. If I could just find one where I could just buy a tip and screw it on, <laughs> that would be a lot easier. So, yeah, I think this was made by somebody else. It wasn't made by, well, nothing. <laughs> nothing Craftsman was made by Sears, but this was uh, a, another company. I'm not sure or who it was but it was they made their own I think uh, of these okay I think oh well, one more thing I did find <laughs> I did find this box and I paid two bucks for this oh and that little pile of um, that Craftsman and all the adjustable wrench little pile with the BMW wrenches Paid ten bucks for all that, and I paid two bucks for this box, and it's pretty beat up. Maybe I paid too much for it. At the bottoms, this is after I cleaned it up a little bit. And the side, the only thing that's still painted is the top. It seems, and I paid two bucks for this. And you're like, why did you pay two bucks for that? I guess the only reason I paid two dollars for this is that. It's an old SK box, and it's worse for wear. Uh, I'm not too big into stripping and cleaning, and you know, like really uh, doing a number on these, like you see a lot of people do online. I usually just uh, whatever, uh, clean it out, and get all the flakes as much. Get most take out the rust, scrape off the rust, and do whatever, and then I'll put some, uh, I'll put some uh, surface shield, <laughs> I use blaster surface shield as an anti-rust, and I usually just coat the insides and outside with a, with a small layer of that, and I just leave it at that, but I thought this was pretty cool, the old SK symbol there in this box. It's a pretty big box. Uh, not sure what was in here, but it looks like it looked like there was a breaker bar, ratchet, and a bunch of sockets, and probably some other stuff back in the day. All right, guys, that's all I got for now. Uh, like I said, uh, I think the garage sales are starting to wind down, and probably the season is gonna gonna see less and less uh kind of tool hauls coming your way anyway until next time